Stories and Documentary Network. The Shoshone, a Native American people indigenous to the vast and diverse landscapes of the Great Basin region, have a rich and storied history that predates the arrival of European settlers on the American continent. With a name derived from the Shoshone language, meaning, high-growing grasses, the Shoshone have long thrived in the challenging environmental conditions of the Great Basin. Their traditional territory spans across parts of present-day Idaho, Utah, Nevada, Wyoming, and California. This documentary aspires to contribute to a broader conversation about indigenous peoples' roles in shaping American history and the importance of recognizing and preserving their cultural heritage. By sharing the story of the Shoshone, we hope to inspire a sense of empathy, respect, and acknowledgement of the enduring legacy of one of America's oldest and most resilient indigenous communities. The Shoshone people have a deep and ancient history rooted in the Great Basin, where they have resided for centuries. While specific details of their origin are sometimes challenging to trace due to the oral nature of their history, linguistic and anthropological evidence suggests that the Shoshone are part of the larger Uto Aztecan language family. Their ancestors likely migrated from the southwestern United States, spreading across the Great Basin in a series of movements. As nomadic hunters and gatherers, the Shoshone followed the rhythms of the seasons, adapting their lifestyles to the diverse landscapes they encountered. Their migration patterns were closely tied to the availability of resources, such as game, fish, and edible plants, which sustained their communities and shaped their cultural practices. The Shoshone's deep connection to the land is evident in their oral traditions and spiritual beliefs, which emphasize the importance of living in harmony with nature. The early societal structure of the Shoshone was characterized by a fluid and decentralized organization, reflective of their nomadic lifestyle. The basic social unit was the extended family, and larger groups would come together for specific activities like hunting or trade. Leadership within Shoshone communities was often based on individual merit, with influential figures emerging as leaders through displays of wisdom, skill, or spiritual insight. Social roles were not strictly defined by gender, and both men and women played essential roles in contributing to the well-being of the community. Men were primarily responsible for hunting and protecting the group, while women played crucial roles in gathering food, preparing meals, and creating essential tools and clothing. The Shoshone placed great value on cooperation and reciprocity, fostering a sense of communal responsibility that strengthened their ability to navigate the challenges of their environment. The arrival of European explorers and fur traders in the 18th and 19th centuries marked a significant turning point in Shoshone history. One of the most notable interactions occurred during the Lewis and Clark Expedition, 1804 to 1806, where the Shoshone woman Sacagawea played a pivotal role as a guide and interpreter. Her presence facilitated peaceful encounters between the expedition and various Native American tribes, including the Shoshone, showcasing the Shoshone's adaptability and diplomacy. The fur trade era brought profound changes to Shoshone society. The demand for beaver pelts led to increased contact with European and American traders, transforming the economic landscape of the Great Basin. The Shoshone, skilled hunters and trappers, became active participants in the fur trade, exchanging their goods for European tools, firearms, and other commodities. This period of interaction, while introducing new elements to Shoshone life, also laid the groundwork for future challenges as European settlers expanded westward, leading to conflicts over land and resources. The Shoshone language, part of the Numic branch of the Uto Aztecan language family, is an integral aspect of Shoshone culture. The language is characterized by its complexity and precision in describing the nuances of the natural world, reflecting the Shoshone people's deep connection to their environment. While English has become more prevalent in contemporary Shoshone communities, efforts to preserve and revitalize the Shoshone language persist through language immersion programs and cultural initiatives. Artistic expression among the Shoshone is often manifested in various forms, including beadwork, basketry, and storytelling. Beadwork, in particular, holds cultural significance and is used to create intricate designs on clothing, accessories, and ceremonial items. These beadwork patterns often convey stories, symbols, and spiritual beliefs. Basketry, another traditional art form, involves weaving baskets from locally sourced materials, showcasing both practical and aesthetic elements of Shoshone craftsmanship. 
Shoshone spirituality is deeply rooted in their connection to the natural world. Animism, the belief that all things possess a spiritual essence, is a fundamental aspect of Shoshone spiritual practices. Mountains, rivers, animals, and plants are considered sacred, each possessing unique spirits or deities. The Shoshone engage in rituals and ceremonies to honor these spirits, seeking guidance, protection, and balance in their lives. The sun dance is a significant ceremonial practice among the Shoshone, involving prayer, dance, and symbolic rituals. It serves as a communal gathering, reinforcing social bonds and spiritual connections within the community. Vision quests, undertaken by individuals seeking personal guidance or enlightenment, are another traditional spiritual practice. During these quests, individuals may fast and meditate in isolation, connecting with the spiritual realm to gain insight and wisdom. Shoshone clothing is both functional and expressive, reflecting the environmental conditions of the Great Basin and the cultural identity of the people. Traditional garments were crafted from materials like animal hides and woven fibers, providing protection against the harsh climate. Fringed buckskin dresses, adorned with beadwork and quillwork, were common among Shoshone women, while men often wore breech cloths or leggings. Adornments such as beadwork, feathers, and shells were used not only for aesthetic purposes but also to convey social and spiritual significance. Beadwork patterns often represented familial connections, personal achievements, or stories passed down through generations. Feathers held symbolic meaning and were incorporated into clothing and accessories, signifying spiritual power and connection to the natural world. The Shoshone way of life was shaped by their nomadic existence, with daily activities centered around survival in the Great Basin environment. Hunting and gathering were essential components of Shoshone daily life, with men primarily responsible for hunting game, while women gathered plants and herbs. The use of specialized tools, such as bows and arrows for hunting and digging sticks for gathering, showcased the Shoshone's resourcefulness and ingenuity. Family and communal activities played a crucial role in Shoshone daily life. The construction of temporary shelters, such as cone-shaped brush structures known as wiki-ups, allowed for mobility as the Shoshone followed seasonal resources. Communal gatherings for ceremonies, storytelling, and shared meals strengthened social bonds and transmitted cultural knowledge from one generation to the next. The Shoshone people's profound connection to the Great Basin has been a defining aspect of their culture and identity. The vast and diverse landscape, characterized by high deserts, mountains, and plateaus, shaped the Shoshone way of life. The Great Basin, with its abundance of natural resources, provided the necessary sustenance for the Shoshone people, influencing their cultural practices and spiritual beliefs. The Snake River, Great Salt Lake, and surrounding mountains held great significance in Shoshone mythology and folklore. These geographical features were not only sources of livelihood, offering fish, game, and edible plants, but also sacred spaces intertwined with the spiritual fabric of Shoshone culture. The land was not just a provider of resources but a living entity deserving of respect and reciprocity. Hunting and gathering were foundational practices for the Shoshone, essential for their survival in the Great Basin. The availability of different game, including deer, elk, antelope, and small mammals, varied across the region, influencing the Shoshone's nomadic movements. Skilled hunters used bows and arrows, as well as other tools crafted from natural materials, to secure game. In addition to hunting, gathering plant resources played a crucial role in Shoshone subsistence. Women, who were often responsible for gathering, collected a variety of edible plants, seeds, and roots. The Shoshone demonstrated an intimate knowledge of the seasonal cycles of plant life, ensuring a sustainable use of resources. This harmonious relationship with the environment reflected not only practical survival strategies but also a cultural ethos of balance and reciprocity. The nomadic lifestyle of the Shoshone was a direct response to the seasonal availability of resources in the Great Basin. Rather than establishing permanent settlements, the Shoshone moved throughout the region in small family groups, adapting to the changing conditions of their environment. This mobility allowed them to follow migratory game, access different plant resources, and avoid overexploitation of specific areas. The construction of temporary shelters, such as wiki-ups made from brush and other natural materials, facilitated the Shoshone's nomadic lifestyle. 
These structures were easily assembled and disassembled, allowing for flexibility in movement. The nomadic nature of Shoshone communities not only enabled their survival but also fostered a deep sense of connection to the land as they traversed the Great Basin, creating a dynamic relationship with the natural world. The Shoshone's nomadic lifestyle and reliance on the land fostered a strong sense of environmental stewardship. Understanding the delicate balance of ecosystems, the Shoshone practiced sustainable resource management, ensuring that their activities did not deplete the natural abundance of the Great Basin. This environmental consciousness was rooted in their spiritual beliefs, recognizing the land as a sacred entity deserving of respect and care. The Shoshone's approach to resource use involved a deep understanding of the ecological interconnectedness of plants, animals, and humans. This sustainable ethos not only ensured the well-being of their communities but also contributed to the preservation of the delicate ecosystems they inhabited. As stewards of the land, the Shoshone exemplified a holistic relationship with nature that stands as a valuable lesson in today's discussions on environmental conservation and sustainable living. The arrival of European fur traders in the Great Basin had a profound impact on the Shoshone people. The fur trade, which gained momentum in the early 19th century, brought about significant changes in the economic and social dynamics of Shoshone communities. The demand for beaver pelts, prized for their luxurious fur, prompted increased interactions between the Shoshone and European traders. Shoshone hunters and trappers became active participants in the fur trade, exchanging pelts for goods such as metal tools, firearms, and textiles. This trade, while providing access to new resources, also exposed the Shoshone to new diseases and altered their traditional way of life. The dependence on European trade goods, coupled with environmental changes resulting from overexploitation of fur-bearing animals, set the stage for challenges that would intensify with the westward expansion of European settlers. As European settlers ventured further into the Great Basin, conflicts between the Shoshone and newcomers escalated. The encroachment of settlers on traditional Shoshone lands led to disputes over resources, particularly water and grazing areas for livestock. The arrival of Mormons in Utah further strained relations, as they sought to establish agricultural communities in areas traditionally inhabited by the Shoshone. Tensions mounted as the United States government implemented policies that favored settler interests over those of the indigenous peoples. Treaties were often negotiated and broken, with the Shoshone experiencing the gradual erosion of their land and rights. Conflicts sometimes erupted into violence, further impacting Shoshone communities and shaping their experience of European contact. The mid-19th century witnessed a dark chapter in Shoshone history as the United States government pursued a policy of forced relocation and land dispossession. The Bear River Massacre in 1863, where a detachment of United States Army troops attacked a Shoshone village, resulted in significant loss of life and marked a tragic episode in the conflicts between the Shoshone and European settlers. The establishment of reservations and the forced relocation of Shoshone people disrupted traditional ways of life. The loss of vast expanses of ancestral lands had profound consequences on Shoshone culture, as they were displaced from territories intricately linked to their identity and survival strategies. The Shoshone experienced economic hardships, cultural disruption, and social dislocation as a result of forced assimilation policies implemented by the United States government. The Shoshone people, known for their resilience, developed various survival strategies in response to the challenges brought about by European contact and westward expansion. As the traditional hunting and gathering way of life became increasingly challenging due to changes in the availability of resources, the Shoshone adapted their strategies to navigate these new circumstances. The incorporation of European trade items into their material culture allowed the Shoshone to enhance their toolkits and diversify their economic activities. The adoption of horses, acquired through trade, revolutionized their mobility and hunting practices, enabling them to cover larger territories more efficiently. The Shoshone also engaged in new economic activities, such as providing guide services to European explorers and settlers, showcasing their adaptability in the face of changing circumstances. Despite the challenges posed by European contact, the Shoshone have demonstrated a remarkable commitment to preserving their cultural heritage. Oral traditions, storytelling, and ceremonial practices have played a crucial role in passing down knowledge from generation to generation. 
Elders within the community have been instrumental in ensuring the continuity of cultural practices, language, and spiritual beliefs. Efforts to preserve and revitalize the Shoshone language have been particularly noteworthy. Language immersion programs, cultural education initiatives, and collaborations with linguistic experts aim to ensure the survival of this vital aspect of Shoshone culture. Traditional arts, including beadwork and basketry, continue to be practiced and passed on, serving as tangible expressions of cultural identity. Contemporary Shoshone communities face a range of challenges that stem from historical injustices and ongoing socioeconomic disparities. Issues such as poverty, limited access to education, and healthcare disparities persist in some Shoshone reservations. Additionally, the continued impact of colonial policies has led to land tenure issues and struggles for resource rights. However, in the face of these challenges, there are also opportunities for positive change and empowerment. Many Shoshone communities actively engage in initiatives aimed at economic development, educational advancement, and healthcare improvement. Partnerships with governmental agencies, nonprofit organizations, and educational institutions provide avenues for addressing systemic issues and fostering sustainable development. The recognition of tribal sovereignty and self-determination has opened doors for the Shoshone to assert control over their own affairs and shape their future. Efforts to reclaim ancestral lands and engage in natural resource management underscore the resilience of the Shoshone people in advocating for their rights and promoting sustainable practices that align with their cultural values. Tribal sovereignty remains a cornerstone of Shoshone governance and self-determination in the contemporary era. Shoshone tribes, recognizing the importance of retaining control over their own affairs, have actively asserted their sovereignty in legal, political, and social arenas. Tribal governments play a crucial role in shaping policies that impact their communities, asserting jurisdiction over tribal lands, and negotiating with state and federal entities. Through the establishment of tribal courts, legislative bodies, and administrative structures, the Shoshone exercise their inherent right to self-governance. Tribal leaders collaborate with other indigenous nations, governmental agencies, and nonprofit organizations to protect and promote tribal sovereignty, ensuring that decisions affecting Shoshone communities align with their cultural values and aspirations for the future. Cultural revitalization initiatives are at the forefront of Shoshone efforts to preserve, celebrate, and pass on their unique heritage. Language revitalization programs aim to ensure the survival of the Shoshone language, fostering fluency among community members and incorporating language education into school curricula. Elders play a central role in these efforts, sharing traditional stories, teachings, and cultural practices with younger generations. Annual gatherings, powwows, and cultural events provide opportunities for community members to come together, share in traditional ceremonies, and showcase artistic expressions such as dance, beadwork, and basketry. These events contribute to a sense of community and pride in Shoshone identity, fostering a strong cultural foundation for future generations. In the contemporary landscape, Shoshone tribes are actively engaged in economic and educational initiatives that promote sustainable development and community empowerment. Economic diversification efforts, including ventures in agriculture, tourism, and natural resource management, aim to create jobs and generate revenue for Shoshone communities. Sustainable practices that align with traditional values are emphasized in economic endeavors, reflecting a commitment to environmental stewardship. Education is a key focus for the Shoshone, with efforts to improve educational opportunities and outcomes for tribal members. Collaborations with educational institutions, scholarship programs, and community-based educational initiatives aim to address historical disparities in access to quality education. By emphasizing culturally relevant curricula and incorporating traditional knowledge into educational settings, the Shoshone strive to ensure that future generations are equipped with the tools to navigate both traditional and contemporary challenges. The Shoshone people played a significant role in shaping the course of Western exploration in North America, particularly during the Lewis and Clark Expedition, 1804-1806. Sacagawea, a Shoshone woman, emerged as a crucial figure during this historic journey. Captured by the Hadatsa tribe and later married to French-Canadian fur trader Toussaint Charbonneau, Sacagawea became an invaluable interpreter and guide for the expedition led by Meriwether Lewis and William Clark. 
Sacagawea's intimate knowledge of the Rocky Mountains and her proficiency in Shoshone and Hidatsa languages facilitated communication with indigenous groups encountered along the expedition route. Her presence and contributions were instrumental in establishing diplomatic relations and securing vital resources for the expedition. Sacagawea's role exemplifies the Shoshone people's adaptability, linguistic skills, and willingness to engage with outsiders, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Western exploration. While contributions of Native American communities, including the Shoshone, have often been overlooked in mainstream historical narratives, there has been a growing recognition of their significance in recent years. Efforts to acknowledge and celebrate Shoshone contributions to American society have taken various forms, including educational initiatives, cultural exhibitions, and public commemorations. In 2000, the United States Mint issued the Sacagawea dollar coin, featuring an image of Sacagawea with her infant son, Jean Baptiste. This coin serves as a tangible recognition of Sacagawea's contributions to the Lewis and Clark expedition and honors the broader role of indigenous peoples in American history. Additionally, statues, monuments, and interpretive centers in regions associated with Shoshone history contribute to raising awareness about their cultural legacy and contributions. In concluding our exploration of the Shoshone people's history, it is essential to recognize the importance of preserving and appreciating their cultural heritage. This call to action extends beyond passive acknowledgement to active participation in supporting initiatives that foster cultural preservation, educational opportunities, and the recognition of tribal sovereignty. As we reflect on the Shoshone legacy, let us embrace the responsibility to stand as allies in their ongoing journey, fostering a future where the Shoshone and all indigenous peoples are not only seen and heard but celebrated for their resilience, contributions, and the enduring strength of their cultural heritage.